In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the mechanics paper 4-2 from the Cambridge A-level exams from 2023. I'll be doing this on the board, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing in a classroom. If you want any other questions from this paper, you should be able to find a link to the playlist in the description below. And if you find any of my videos useful, I'd greatly appreciate if you subscribe or if you think any of your friends might find it useful, please go ahead and share it. In question one, we're told about a particle of mass that weighs 1.6 uh, kilos and it's uh, dropped from a height of nine meters onto a flat surface. So let's put a ball here and we'll say the distance down is nine meters. At the speed of the particle, the instant before hitting the ground, um, so let's uh, put a second uh, image of it here. The instant before hitting the ground is 12 meters per second. Okay, then they ask us to find the work done against air resistance. So that means basically when we drop this ball, it won't, um, it's not in a vacuum, it won't just fall. Air resistance will try and stop it from falling. Okay, there's two ways to do this question, at least there might be more, but there's two ways I see. So I'll go ahead and do both of them. The first way I would go about doing this question is I think of the energy in the system. I would think of it as two states, which I've sort of drawn here. The first state was when the ball, sorry, the particle was up here. And the second state is when it was down here. Let me do it over here. State one and state uh, two. And then I think about the energies I know at this state and the energies I know at this state. So that's uh, the kinetic energy. So we dropped it, so it was at rest up here, so the kinetic energy is zero, and the potential energy. Well, that would be M, which is 1.6, G, which is 10, and H, which is nine. And at the end here, this system, the kinetic energy in this in, in this uh, system here, it's uh, or the state, sorry, it is traveling at twelve meters per second. So the kinetic energy is now a half m times velocity squared at twelve squared, and the potential energy is zero because we're just above the ground. We're at the ground pretty much. And we can go ahead and uh, add these two together, which well zero is one of them. And we would get, um, let me just ch double check my notes here. Yeah, uh, 144, this is uh, joules. And this one would add up to 115.2 joules. Now that's a problem. The energy at the start is different than the energy at the end. Energy is conserved. So what's happened here? The difference, um, something must have happened to make this difference. And that something is the air resistance the work done by the air resistance. Remember, work is the same as energy. So the work done is what's missing. So the difference between these two is uh, the work is equal to, just uh, take 144 minus this, as uh, 28.8. And that's the answer if you use the energy method. We'll get the same answer either way. So if you're happy with that way, that's fine, you can move on. Another way to do this question would be with, uh, I'm not sure what they're called again, the equations of motion, I guess they're called. You know, the initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, time, and distance. And we have a good few of these here. We have an initial velocity of zero. We have a final velocity of 12 meters per second. We have a distance of nine. Uh, we don't have a time and we don't have an acceleration. Still, we have three, which usually means we can solve them all. Um, we would like to get work, actually, I guess this is the, the trick. This way, this way might be a little harder. Um, it might not be clear what we need here. Um, work uh, can be wrote as force times distance. Um, force can be wrote as M times A and times distance, I guess, um, for work as well. So if you wanted to know the work done in this system or some of the work that's missing, at least in this system, uh, we'd really like to know what the acceleration of this particle was when it fell. So that's, uh, that's where I'm coming from in this method. 
Um, so I'd like to know the acceleration and which formula is that? That would be v squared is equal u squared plus 2as. Yes, I know u, v and s and I just want a. So this is 144 is equal to uh, 2 times 9 which is 18 a. a is equal to 144 divided by 18 is 8. Now, uh, this, the, the trick here is to notice that this isn't gravity. Gravity should be 10. G is equal to 10, at least in these questions. Um, so something's acting against gravity here. So the acceleration due to resistance, let's say A or, must be equal to two. And that's the one I'd fill into this formula here. Um, so W would be equal to M is 1.6. A is 2 and D is 9 and if we put all that in we should get 28.8. If you know of any other ways to do that let me know in the comments if you'd like me to clarify anything I did. Again ask in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.